from engineer Karl Hornet from Europe. He is recently working at KUK. And his question was, will NASA send robonauts to moon to build first ISS station uh, for planting cotton and get water in space? Did you get his question? Uh, um, sir, you, you, uh, can you give me another, I, I can't hear you. Okay, I'll read it out to you again. Will NASA send robonauts to moon to build first ISS station for planting cotton and get water in space? Okay, sending uh, robonauts uh, on station and then to the moon? And to build first ISS station. Uh, say that again, please. Okay, uh, will NASA send robonauts to moon to build first ISS station for planting cotton and get water in space? This question yeah. was asked by engineer Karel Hornet from Europe, working at KUKA. Okay, um, so sending uh, robonauts to uh, to the moon, is that the question? Yes, like for okay. building a first ISS station. Uh, you know, robonaut, um, so they're finding out <laughs> there's some challenges with robonaut. Um, I don't want to get into too much detail, but, uh, you know, we're still building something like Robonaut uh, in space uh, is a little bit challenging. And, uh, um, you know, it, 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 requires, it requires a little bit more engineering than, than we thought. But that's, that's the whole beauty of developing, testing, and evaluating is to see um, what are the shortcomings. Uh, a robonaut on the moon is going to be very difficult. Um, one, uh, there's a couple of things going back to the radiation effect of electronics. The second thing is the uh, the moon has very very bad uh, soil. Uh, it's you know think of uh, crushed uh, glass. If you think about crushed glass, that's what the moon soil is like. So if it gets in the motors in the in the uh, mechanisms of robonaut it's, it, it could uh, mess up the robonaut very badly that's one of the big challenges mechanical systems of returning to the moon and mars is the soil is very very abrasive so uh, uh, we need to over we, we need to come up with better mechanical systems especially robots um, that can deal with that kind of environment okay yeah, I I think um, I can call upon Jimmy Baya. Jimmy Baya, are you there? Jimmy Baya, are you there? Okay. So, can you hear me? Yes, I can. George, can you hear me? Hi, George. Uh, yes. Uh, basically, the person was uh, from uh, Carnell. Uh, he is currently doing uh, work with KUKA. You know KUKA Robotics? And uh, he asked to us that, uh, is there any uh, scope to send robot uh, for Moon's infrastructure uh, to develop their infrastructure uh, planning or underwater projects? Uh, so is there any available company who can provide robots um, uh, through NASA? That means uh, uh, maybe uh, he has existing business on robots. So is there any scope uh, to deal with NASA, uh, with another partial company? Well, uh, I mean, okay, so robots are right now being, so if, I guess the question is related to um, uh, building commercial robots uh, to go to the moon. Um, at this point in time, NASA has, um, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, Five, I think five, five or six uh, commercial companies that are um, doing proposals for building robots uh, to go to the moon, um, and uh, you know it's uh, it's very competitive. Uh, and, and again, you know, you you first have to sign a uh, uh, whatever they they call it a uh, uh, international cooperation agreement. Uh, cooperation agreement with NASA and all that. A lot of paperwork, a lot of bureaucratic government stuff 
uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, right now there's already companies uh, competing. Not to say that in the future there's going to be more companies. I have to tell you that uh, NASA is very receptive to uh, uh, you know listening to ideas. And so uh, let's say, for example, there's a company in Bangladesh that uh, has a very unique idea of developing robots that uh, maybe dig uh, their, you know, they, they dig uh, uh, um, on the moon and, uh, you know, maybe create tunnels or whatever. So if you have an idea like that, uh, I, uh, my recommendation is to talk to a uh, U.S. company that's competing, that's working with NASA, and then um, work with that company in a, uh, a collaborative partnership. And then now you as the American company are collaborating uh, together and working with NASA. So you don't, Bangladesh company doesn't go directly to NASA. Bangladesh company goes to an American company, form that collaboration and then work with NASA. Okay, actually this person was from Europe and uh, Mr. Colonel, he asked this uh, person, uh, he is currently doing work in Coca. So uh, that's why, uh, on behalf of uh, my friend's request, I just asked uh, to hear from you. Yeah, but, uh, it, yeah I think he, he probably, you know, there's an European Space Agency, and so that's the other opportunity is uh, for, for working uh, with uh, ESA. And then, of course, ESA already has international agreement with NASA working together. So it's a matter of just establishing that connection with ESA as another opportunity. And then from ESA, you're working with NASA. Okay, that's fine. So, Sarah, please, let's continue with the other participators. Okay, thank no. you, Maya. Thank you.